Good morning everybody and welcome to another episode of Feed the Beast 1.1.7 Now as you can see um, from the last episode we've got the cactus we've got some monsters coming behind us by the sound of it I'm just going to put my sword on um, we've got um, crops growing which is uh, sugar cane and I noticed one actually dried out so um, let's try and get that wet again and yeah I'm going to see if we can get some sleep, rest right. ok so it's morning again and hopefully we should be a little bit safe but always make sure you've got your um, what's the name on your sword on and we've got two sheep in the pen so we don't need this sheep around here so I'm going to kill the sheep Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit laggy for some reason guys I don't know why um, but we'll, we'll we'll try and see how the episode goes I might pause it in a minute just to see how it's going um, and if it's not going too well I shall probably just do a restart but let's carry on anyway I'm going to chop down some more of these trees uh, just to get them out of the way and we're going to be starting on Tinker's, Tinker's Construct today I believe um, because basically just want to um, start getting getting some uh, better equipment, better tools and um, just basically getting things better so I need um, to think where we are going to start our mine shaft because we we need um, we need some better tools. We we can't keep using rubbish tools. So before I do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the game here and I'm going to check to see how this episode is going because of, of um, lag so I shall be back shortly guys okay guys welcome back um, I think I've sorted out the lag a little bit um, so what we're going to do is see if we can go to sleep I don't think we can yet I think it's too early yeah it's definitely too early so we need to um, make a um, little bit more um, tools so we need to make a new uh, spade because we ran out one I know it's only a wooden one but when it gets dark we're going to um, decide where we're going to go and what we're going to do and these crops are drying out okay uh, that's not good okay so we're, we're gonna replant these crops near the water's edge as you can see if you right click you will get um, the harvest if you left click you'll get a seed bag but as we're not doing that I'm, I'm not going to worry about getting seed bags at the moment because they'll take up a lot of inventory space um, and as you can see we still have quite a few bits and pieces going so we're just going to plant a few around just to start getting a lot going because we will need this this is going to be our main fuel supply 
and of course we're going to um, try and do a lot more here also so I'm just going to try and get some more, more going here but not really too worried about that so today we're going to decide where are we going to do our mine shaft and to make it a little bit safe for me I am going to um, just start it here and um, yeah now we're making quite a big entrance because obviously when we go down we are going to be going underground so I'll just just put some on there just to keep it going and what we're going to do is we're going to go inside and we are because it starts to get a little bit low on the sand we are going to start to um, dig our way down now we've got to make sure that we're at the right depth we're at the right um, that we can get down the stairs okay I might extend this out a little bit we'll just see how it goes now at the moment I'm not going to worry about going too far well, you can see that we, we've got a little bit of dirt there so we need to put that back there with wood So we're just going to go straight down the stairs because you, you, you don't really need to do anything else. And you can see that we've, we've hit stone. This is what we wanted first. So we're, we're just going to pick out some stuff out. So we got rid of the dirt above us and we're fully in stone. And then we shall upgrade our pickaxe because, like I said, we're going to use Tinker's construct because I find it better than the normal ones. And as you can see, we are now starting to get the first true layer of stone. And what we're going to be doing on this layer is we're going to start building our main base. This is where we are going to build and um, basically I'm just going to turn out a little bit of a room. Not much because um, there's still a lot to go. And what we need to do, because we need to remember that monsters can be a pain in this, is we basically need to start um, making some torches. Because obviously if we don't have torches, they're going to come up and they're going to kill us and blow us up. And you've already seen what they can do, so let's quickly make some torches here. Yeah, we only need four, we don't need that many to start off with. So let's just go and shove some torches down here. So if we shove one, um, just one here, one here to make it really, really bright so we can see what we do. And I'm going to shove one here and one here just for the hell of it. And then what we need to uh, do is start making some um, some items. So let's see what we've got in chest. We've got furnace. And what we need to do, we need to make another furnace. Now, and that furnace is going to make us a slug furnace. 
because that will give us a start in manufacturing um, more ore when we actually do finally get it. So, what we need to do, do now is we need to uh, get some sticks, just get all those and we need to make a better pickaxe so we need to make a better axe there we go so we don't need those and we need to make um, a better hoe and of course a better spade The last thing that we is need to obviously make. a better sword because of the monsters giving us some pain. So, without further ado, we're going to go to sleep. As I said, I'm going to try and keep these episodes for around about 30 minutes each. Um, that's just due to the fact that uploading it, processing it and doing everything for the episodes could take uh, a tremendous amount of time. So we're now just going to quickly go outside, check our food, see how we're doing. Um, sugar cane is doing great, it's doing better than what I expected it to be at this, this stage. I'm still going to try and make uh, this field a little bit more it will be much much better once um, once things just start growing normally we've, we've now started to get seeds so we're gonna plant those down I'm not sure if did we put them ah yes we did so let's take those seeds out of there we don't want, want to start mixing them up already as you can see we have got um, some barley so we're, we're gonna harvest these As you can see some of them go in the water but that's not too bad. Now barley is better than wheat for food so we will grow um, barley for food and we're going to use wheat for um, different production that will be to help make us um, biofuel. So let's just get all, all these bit of water done down here so yeah as you can see with the sugar cane it grows really really quick on the crop on the crop stick so basically you don't we won't need any of this later on but um, let's just start playing a little bit of this because I know that we're going to need some wood The most annoying thing with in uh, Minecraft when you first get started is actually just getting started. Once you start having uh, your first engine and stuff like that, and you start getting the trees that you want, you know, it, it's not too bad at all. Um, we've got a sheep that's spinning on the top there. So what we can do if we can get the sheep is push the sheep in, into the pen you know, don't, don't, don't be afraid to push them in so we can take rid of this let's get rid of these little, little things here whoops, we didn't want to take that one out so we're quickly going to put that one back but actually we can start using the proper fences But we're gonna get these cut off down. Get out, get out of the way, sheep. Okay, so we've got those down, cut those off. Okay, so because we obviously we don't want the sheep jumping out because that will be a bit pointless for us getting the sheep in the first place. 
okay so you can see now uh, the pen starting to develop so like I said we're going to be putting a door over here and uh, just to get this sorted out we're just going to build it as and when get a little bit we'll get a little bit bored you know so again we're going to need a bit of food so we've got barley barley flour so we'll get that cooked put the coal in, charcoal in there okay so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be looking at Tinker's contract so I need to find the book there's the book so let's have a look see what we need so we need wood and sticks to make paper and we need a stencil table okay so that's the first thing we do we need some blank patterns now blank patterns are quite easy to do but it's always best to make um, quite a few of them so we're going to make the sticks again so we've got sticks so we've got 10 blank patterns which is not too bad so what do we need next ok we need a piece of wood and a blank pattern Uh, yes I believe we have ok so this is our first stencil table again at the moment we, we don't have a lot of room but let's just put it over here in the corner and as you can see um, this is where the pants are coming now if you don't know how to make stuff you actually do get a second um, book so if we have a quick look at that you can see if you just flick through the uh, tables it tells you pickaxe so you need pickaxe head tool rod and tool binding and it will show you all the rest for the um, for the other stuff so the first thing we're going to do is because it's the easiest we're going to make the uh, hatchet okay uh, because that will get us a lot of lumber quite quickly so we've got you put put the step black pattern in there click next and basically you've just got the right fire. pattern which is there's the axe head and saw blade <coughs> no that's knife okay tough tool okay so that's what we need first off so if we go back to the first book because obviously we've got the uh, blank patterns we've got the stencil table and we need a part crafter now so we need a blank pattern and we need a block of wood so let's see what we've got in our inventory uh, we don't have any wood I don't know if we've got any in the chest and I think I might have just crashed oh there we go uh, no we haven't got any wood so we need to go and chop a bit more wood down hopefully we've got seedlings dropping as well we don't need them but they just they just come in handy ok so let's get rid of this one now what I like with uh, Tinker's construct mod is that you can repair your um, items which is I think is, is one of the best things for using it it's it just makes the game a lot more enjoyable so what we needed was a blank pattern I don't know where oh sorry left it in the table didn't I so we're going to take a blank pattern and we needed a block of wood now it could be any block of wood I believe it just needs to be a block of wood so whatever trees you've got around there um, 
that will do so we've now got our part builder and as you can see with the update 1.1.7 um, whatever you make out of the legs will show okay so what we need now is we need the axe head and we need some materials I'm going to make this one basic I'm not going to do anything fancy on this start off with so we're just going to make it out of stone um, so we've got cobblestone <coughs> so basically you put the pattern in you put the cobblestone next to it and got stone axe head and then what you do is just change over for the tough tool rod yeah and you get the stone handle so if you go and check the book again just to make sure that we've got the right items there's the pickaxe we haven't done that and we're doing a hatchet uh, what we need now is um, we will be making a lumber axe at a later date but we won't be doing it just yet and we'll also be making a hammer as well so we need to um, oh it's in the first book sorry it's not in the, it's not in this book so we need the first book again um, we need to just flip through the pages we've got the part craft up we haven't got the pattern chest yet we don't need that one just yet but we do need the tool station okay so that's that's our next one that we're going to make so basically we need um, some wood have we got any yes we have so we'll take those four actually we'll, we'll make the other one at the same time as well I've noticed it's night time so we're going to go to sleep because obviously creepers are a real real pain and I just hate creepers so let's get these uh, two items made whoops that was wrong birchwood so we've got the chest and we need blank patterns again okay so we're going to go to the pattern table I'm going to take these out because we don't need them at the moment so we've got the chest there's the pattern chest so we're going to put that down okay so we can put that another work and where's the other one I think that's still in the table yeah that can go back into the pattern chest because we don't need it at the moment and then we need to make whoops crafting table and that will make our tool station and I believe we've already got a tool station have we got a tool station? no that's a stencil table sorry so we now got tool tool um, table so that will actually fix our items for us as well as make our items for us so you put the axe head in put the stone in okay it's not going to take that one so we put a stick in it and you can see we've got a hatchet okay so we're going to make a hatchet now that will become more useful than normal um, axe because once that breaks we can repair it okay so now we've got three modifiers on this if we have a look I don't 
I don't think we can. So what we what we'll do is um, in the next episode we will um, go use it, cut cut down a lot more wood, and we will look at start starting making some um, fuel, and we'll look at um, the next. Excuse me. The uh, next part of Tinker's construct we is going to make the upgraded version of the um, tool station. So I've hoped you enjoyed this episode. Have fun, stay safe, and I will see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. This is HMK signing off.